Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at a copy of Shark Tank the Game, put out by Cardinal. This is based on the TV series of the same name, Shark Tank. This is one set, according to this. Uh, this is a, a game of bidding, and uh, there's an age recommendation on here? No, no there's not, that's weird. All right, so inside we're gonna see 18 chips, six I'm out cards, money card deck, company card deck, six coasters, a die, and instructions. It's weird there's no age recommendations on it. Oh, eight plus two to four players. No time length. So let's open this up and see what we've got. It's by Cardinal, so 50-50 on quality. It's only held shut by these two pieces of stickers those little round crappy stickers so we just have to get through those which isn't real hard and we're in all right so here's our rule sheet it's uh it's just a two-sided it's not even an eight half by eleven it's got some weird shape to it so it's it's an odd size for an instruction sheet don't like that uh, I've never played this game but I'm not super impressed so far this is just a glorified piece of semi glossy paper all right let's get our components out here there's quite a bit in here and that's everything uh, the vinyl insert is pretty crappy, actually. Well, it seems crappier than it is. It's actually okay. I'm going to say that. But it looks really crappy at first look, glance. All right, so our poker chips here. Let's tear into these first. All right, so these are just um, plastic poker chips with stickers on them. Oh, we've got D6 that is really just a block with a bunch of stickers on it. Our correction, it's one sticker folded over several times. So one side says Blockbuster, then we've got a blue dollar sign, a green dollar sign, another blue, and then back to Blockbuster, then we've got two red cent signs, and another two red cent signs. That's the whole thing. All right, so it looks like we have... Uh, the different characters or people personalities I should say on the show and it looks like there's three of each oh no there's four guys sorry five five all right there's a lot of people on this show so let me see if I can match them all up here make sure they're all here because that would be really obnoxious if they weren't Okay, I don't know if that's all gonna fit in the, no, it's not. All right, so you get three of each chip for each person. Now, I don't particularly know who these people are, um, and copyright 2016 Sony is not helpful. So, um, I've never really watched the show that much. I've seen it a few times, but I think that's Mark Cuban here. Um, I don't know who these other people are, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, this dice is garbage. It's uh, it doesn't roll very well because the sticker, the sticker gets in the way and keeps it from rolling additional times. Like because it's not centered well, they couldn't even actually get a D6, and it's just a white cube underneath. So, yeah. That's garbage. Just get D6 and replace that. Alright, so these are pretty low-end glossy stickers that are on here. Uh, the plastic chips, they're, meh. they're like something you'd get at um, like a thrift store or a discount party outlet. That would be overpriced and kind of junky. Uh, they sound okay, but... 
they don't feel like it. They, they feel pretty low end. So I've seen better chips in the game Clout. Um, seen better poker chips at big and small lots. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's super low end. Wow, that's, yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's look at the next thing. All right, look at some of these cards real quick. Oh, yeah, there's these disc things. All right, let me zoom the camera in. That's a little better. All right, so we have Lori Grenier. On the back, it's just got like Shark Tank accessories and gadgets. I guess that's her specialty. Eh, she's kind of cute. Then we've got Barbara Corcoran, food and children's products. Mark Cuban, sports and media. Then we've got Robert. I'm going to butcher that name, so I'm not even going to try. Technology and transportation. Uh, Kevin O'Leary, software and hard goods. <laughs> hard goods. Uh, Damon John, fashion and branding. So you get these like coasters, which these are about the same level of quality as your average beer coaster. They're just uh, cardboard um, with some glossy on them. And the they're kind of weird textured, honestly. Uh, pretty cheap. Well, there's different colors to represent each person, so there's that. All right, let's get that out of the way. Now yeah, let's look at these, the As Seen on Shark Tank cards. Well, these all have the same back. Uh, they're not all centered, though. You'll notice the borderline here is different than the one on here. There's more room, so they're not cut evenly. So I suppose you could probably find a way to cheat with that if you were real good at like card counting sort of things. All right, this one's the Euro Club. Then you've got like the uh, Grease Monkey. Lipstick Remix. Light Film. Flip Outs. Chill soda. And it's got the different color of chip you put down. First person puts the green one down, then the red and blue. I assume that's how it's played. Uh, grill charms. Pork barrel barbecue. Element bars. Stress free kids software. Monkey mat. Garage door lock, Chapel Cricket Bars, Henry's Humdingers, U Lace, Happy Feet, Paintbrush Cover, Plated, Revo Lights, Bambooey, Sway. Spy Escape plus Invasion, Cookie Dough Cafe, Cyclo, Cycloramic, Locker Bones, Drain Strain, Turbo Pup, Lumina, Lumio, Scratch and Grain, Bantam Bagels, Beverage Boy, Fresh Patch, Phone Soap, Bottle Bright, Hoppy Paws, Booby Pack, Spike Ball, uh, Sindaver Labs, Everwares, Q Flex, Shell Bobbers, Gobi, Simple Sugar, Drop Stop, Corduroys, My Misto Box, Kazam, Lit Up, Cool Wraps, 
lose 12 inches there's a lot of these cards that's pretty impressive uh, that's just one pack we got two more to go so I'm just gonna read these off um, the titles so that you know if your set is complete or not in case you bought it used so we've got nuts and more uh, and ventineers hoodie pillow sound bender Teddy needs a bath hot tot game face the coop living xmas cool wazo ruck pack scrub daddy pro nrg cousins lobster bag bowl um K app technology cat app maybe c-a-t-e then we've got surf set fitness uh, remix dance with me squirrel nut butter uh, tower paddle boards go go gear nail pack lala cup Villy, Litter, Smart Baker, Kiss Ticks, Readerist, uh, Painted Pretzel, Aqua Vault, Amazing Lights, Frill, Sholey, Gold Rush Nugget, B Sweet Lemonade, Pulley Pals, World Record Stripper, Striper, that's Fishing Sinkers, Noeen, N O E, N E, I don't, okay, uh, Luminade, oh, Luminade Lights. Uh, Neat Cheeks, Melny, Zyn Pack, Pit Moss, Keen Home, Last Lid, Chore Buddy, or Cord Buddy, Cords, Cord Buddy, Daisy Cake, Ride On Carry On, and you kick a asterisk asterisk. All right, let's get those out of the way and look at the last pack of these. First up we have Wicked Good, Mission Belt, unique belt with no holes and attached ratchet system, a zip tie for your waist. I think that'd backfire on me. Uh, Stella Valley, or Vale, I'm not sure. I think Vale. Ryan's Barkery, ha, ah, dog treats. Uh, Jessica Shoes, Tipsy Elves, Hanukkah Tree Topper, Purse Case, Tree TP, 180 cup Invisiplug Deboned baby back ribs Grace and Lace La Haunted Hayride Fiber Fix Veggie Mama Screen Mend Hamboards Breathometer, Tom and Che, Squatty Potty, 
actually a fun conversation piece. Uh, Pipcorn Bottle Breacher Myself Belts It's a kids product uh, Beatbox Beverages Heidi Ho Organics Earth Log <laughs> Mench on a Bench <laughs> The Natural Grip, Honey Fund, Biagi, Game Day Couture, Zip Zinc, Tintin, or Titan, I don't know, H2W Ink, Cerebral Success, Rugged Races, Zubin, Illumi, Power Pot, Bonifair, Sleeping Baby, World's First Swaddle tra Transition, Reviver, Dried Yonor for Clothes, Paper Box Pilot, Fun Time Express, Foot Fairy, Bombas, the Red Dress Boutique, Ruminate, and lastly, Hold Your Haunches. Alright, so that's all the auction things that you can bid on. There's quite a few here. I'll give them credit for that. There's a lot of diversity in types of things you could draw. Uh, then there's, let's look at these. Uh, these should probably be all the same. Come on. Stupid plastic. Hates me. Alright, that's better. Yeah, so we've got two, three, four, five, six. They just say I'm out on one side, and on the other side it says I'm out. Slightly different. Um, there should probably be an apostrophe there. So, get those out of the way. There's some money here. So these say Shark Tank on the back. There's two stacks of these. So there's quite a lot to look at. But... I think these are just random money amounts. Yeah, there's like 50 grand, 50, 50. Let's see how many of those there are. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight peanut butter sandwiches, nine, ten, seventeen fifties. Then it drops down to 20s. So there's 17 of those. One, two, three, four. There's 23 20s. It's a weird number, but okay. And 29 ten thousands. Let's look at our other stack here. This is, looks like the higher value ones. There's 1575s. $29,000. 
22 100 thousands. Seems like a lot because there's so few 10s and 20s, but whatever. There's two. There's 950 thousands. And nine two hundred thousands. So that's quite a bit of uh, fake currency bidding money. Um, and it probably will help with math skills for younger players, but I, I don't know about I don't know about eight year olds playing this. That seems a bit a bit high. So yeah, there's hundred and fifty company cards, hundred twenty five money cards. 18 red, blue, and green chips, one die, six shark coasters, six I'm out co cards. So, yeah, you get quite a bit here. Um, honestly, I think the, the quality's a little bit crap. The instruction sheet would have been better served being on like an 8.5 by 11. Um, I think that could have been better because it's kind of... A pain to read something this awkwardly shaped especially with a giant crease through it so an eight and a half by eleven page in here would have easily fit in the box better I think um, lengthwise uh, you know cut folded in half rather instead of lengthwise uh, the cards are, are fairly cheap they won't hold up well over time the poker chips probably do okay, but the crappy gloss on the stickers mean the stickers probably gonna come off pretty quick. That dice is horrible, horrible, cheap, lazy thing. That is ins almost insulting, but I know the the game couldn't have sold for that much. But even at ten bucks, that's pretty lazy. Uh, these are actually pretty good. The money cards, they're they're okay. They're about standard board game fare. Um, otherwise, yeah, I don't really think this is a game for me. Um, I didn't watch the show. Wasn't really anything I was interested in, but if, if you like the TV show, the game's probably fine. Um, I think it's more of a niche market kind of thing where they don't expect you to play for long periods of time. But if you really like it, it, it might be worth finding a complete copy. Um... Like I said, I'm not much of a fan of the program. I've only seen a few episodes. But, yeah, it looks like it's uh, the board game probably reflects the, the TV show fairly accurately, at least in enough to play a board game. So if you if you know people that like the game, this might be fun for them, and it might be a pretty good uh, casual-type game for, um, you know, a non-threatening, non-violent-type game night. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that's Shark Tank the game. Pieces uh, probably could use some work, but if you're a fan of the show, you're probably not going to care. But otherwise, uh, not really my thing. So that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching the program and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.